Welcome to the first day of the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. As you can see, it's pretty busy down here, but I'm stood next to the next generation of Morgan cars. 2018 saw the end of the naturally aspirated V8, but 2019 sees the introduction of this, the Plus 6. At first glance, yes, it has that traditional Morgan silhouette, and it looks very much like a traditional Morgan. However, take a closer look, and you'll see a few key things have changed. But rather than listen to me talk all about design, we had a word with John Wells, Morgan's very own head of design, who talked us through it. The classic Morgan silhouette has obtained iconic status now. Um, but this is not to suggest that this car hasn't changed. There's thousands of parts in this car and only 1% carryover from existing disc components. And even then, we've retuned and tweaked them. But I think the most significant thing about this car is this is a new era for us. This is really game changing and it can be felt as soon as you get close to the vehicle. Every single component has had a new process applied to it and it's the approach of the engineering department and the design department working together to study and redefine every component piece by piece which just gives you a sensation that you're in a very new and significant vehicle for Morgan. To touch on some of those details, We've increased radiuses around the doors. We have an elongated door now, and the side of the car seems to flow a bit more visually. Much more legroom means 200 millimeters of extra occupant space. And for ergonomics inside, that gives us freedom to think about where things should be positioned. The dash and IP has been completely cleaned up. Small details on the outside of the car, when you look closer, that suggest the level of engineering aptitude that's been applied to the sort of Morgan form. These nostrils on the front are designed to be sat just where they need to, to pull as much air out and through the radiator as possible. We have a very compact inline six cylinder engine, big turbo producing a lot of heat. And we have to maximize the shape and the aerodynamics of the body and have outlets to pull air through the vehicle and keep this car operating as it should. Of the 4,000 parts that make up the Plus 6, only 1% are shared with any of other Morgan's cars. And one of the biggest changes is under here. It is a 3-litre turbocharged straight 6 from BMW. Its parents call it the B58. It kicks out 335 horsepower and 369 pound-foot. And all of that is delivered to the rear wheels thanks to a ZF 8-speed gearbox. That means the Plus 6 can hit 62 miles an hour from rest in just 4.2 seconds, and it'll go on to 166 miles an hour. But what about efficiency? Well, on the CO2 front, it kicks out just 170 grams per kilometer, and it'll do 38.2 on the combined cycle, making it the second cleanest Morgan in the lineup. And it also means that the Plus 6 is more competitive in more of Morgan's key markets than ever before. That was the motor, but what about the platform that underpins it? Well, this is Morgan's all-new CX generation platform. It's aluminium bonded and riveted, and in its barest form, weighs just under 100 kilos. It offers a 100% gain in torsional rigidity over the old platform as well, and it adds 20 millimeters to the Plus 6's wheelbase over the Plus 8. But thanks to clever packaging, that means 20 centimeters more legroom and 31% more stowage space for occupants. So basically, with a little bit more, Morgan has done quite a lot. Now, just as with the aero platform in 2000, this will be underpinning future Morgan Halo models. And it's been future-proofed for various different types of propulsion systems over the next decade. The interior of the Plus 6 is a hugely important aspect of the car. After all, when you're driving it, it's where you're going to be. Now, much like the exterior, the interior may look familiar, but again, there's plenty of change going on in there. The newly designed seats, for example, are there to keep you comfy on the drive. You can have them with a hardback or not, and with a bunch of different stitch patterns. The materials you can spec in there celebrate Morgan's very own craftsmanship, with a choice of leather and wood to suit whatever you want. Within the new and larger cockpit, there's also a bunch of technology that some may consider un-Morgan, but it is here. For example, in the sculpted doors, there are hidden speakers, there's new central locking, there's automatic headlights, a display in the instrument binnacle that shows you all the relevant information you could need while you're driving, and much more besides. As far as customization goes, the Plus 6 is the most customizable Morgan out there, which means you can create a true one-off 
just for you. If you're interested in getting your hands on your very own Plus 6, the good news is the order books are open right now, and there are four specs to choose from. The base Plus 6, with which you can do whatever you want, starts at £77,995. Then there's even a touring specification, which adds a composite hardtop and a luggage rack for the back, so you can take lots of stuff with you. Or there are two launch specifications, the Emerald car here and the Moonstone car we were looking at earlier. Those start at just shy of £89,000. For more from Morgan at the Geneva Motor Show, keep it locked on the Morgan Motor Social channels.